Hello, my name's Julie Williams. I'm a registered migration agent with Migration Down Under, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Tasmanian State nomination. Unlike any other states or territories in Australia, you don't actually have to wait for an invitation before you lodge your nomination with the Tasmanian State Government. What you do need to do is lodge an expression of interest through your skill select, and then once you've done that, you can go through the portal of the Tasmanian Government to lodge your interest for a nomination with the state. You do actually have to be living in uh, Tasmania to be considered, so no offshore applicants can be considered for the subclass 190 or the 491 at the moment. With the, um, the visa streams, there's two different streams for the 190 and the 491, and they both have the relevant uh, state occupation list. So each state have their own occupation list, depending on what their target sector is for their particular state. So with regards to uh, Tasmania, once you've done the, uh, the nomination, you're either applying through the graduate stream or employment stream. Now with the graduate stream, you have to have graduated from a university with a degree or equivalent or higher, and you have to have um, at least uh, lived and studied throughout that period for a minimum of two years prior to the nomination application. There are very, um, dependent on your occupation, dependent on your skill set, there is very um, slim chance sometimes of getting a 190 for, the grad for uh, recent graduates. If you're an exceptional candidate, Tasmania will consider it. Otherwise, with the, um, the stream for uh, the 190 employer or the 491, you do have to have been working or employed in Tasmania for a minimum of six months in your nominated occupation. You have to have a relevant skills assessment for that occupation and whatever the occupation you are nominating under, the employment has to be relevant to that. As well as um, full-time employment, and the full-time employment must be for a minimum of 30, for, sorry, 35 hours per week. So there's a few different options. Um, it, like any other state nomination, it is competitive. They are wanting to make sure that you are genuine in your uh, desire to remain living and working in Tasmania. And you do have to meet not only the visa requirements set out by the Department of Home Affairs, but also the requirements and criteria set out by the State Government of Tasmania. If you require any further information or more detailed information, please visit our website. Otherwise, we'll continue to remain, to continue, sorry, to keep you updated. If you don't already subscribe to our, um, our social media channels, please do, because that's where we'll continue to update you with any changes and developments that may occur in this area. Otherwise, if you're seeking assistance in, uh, and wanting to utilise our services, in lodging your application with the State Government of Tasmania, we'd only be too happy to help you.